Remember the hit show Game of Thrones? Well, it was a hit until the eighth and final season. Pepperidge Farm remembers. I still enjoyed part of season eight. Never read the books. I'm going to read the books. I'm in the process of ordering them, but that's a lot of books to read. So we've got House of the Dragon coming up, the story of the Targaryens, the prequel. We're gonna see exactly what's going on with the pricing per episode in this variety article, ladies and gentlemen. Something that I wanted to talk about because I wasn't really on the, I wasn't watching Game of Thrones when it aired. I watched the entire series after it was done uh, because I didn't have HBO, didn't have HBO Max, all that. So now let's talk about how much money they're spending per episode and compare that to some of the most expensive shows that have ever been produced for television and streaming. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys, roll the footage. Wiener, 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 you can leave yours in the comments below. Do all the YouTube things, all that fun stuff. Let's go. HBO's House of the Dragon cost under $20 million per episode to produce its 10-episode first season, which debuts August 21st, a source close to production told Variety. All right, see, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I really am. Um, I want to see what they do with this family and how they handle the backstory and how the diversity and inclusion checkboxes work hand-in-hand -hand with this production. <laughs> For comparison, Game of Thrones cost around $100 million per season. Its per season episode price tag began at roughly $6 million in season one and rose to nearly $15 million for the show's eighth and final season. If you're wondering how HBO managed to keep cost of House of the Dragon season one from rising too much above what it paid for the final season of Game of Thrones, especially with even more CGI dragons expected to be flying around. The Production Insider says HBO is so adept at these world-building series through the years of not just Game of Thrones, but also producing Westworld and His Dark Materials that the team can make a high-quality series efficiently and effectively as possible. Amazon's upcoming The Lord of Rings TV series, The Rings of Power, which is a dumpster fire all to its own. We all know how that's played out with Amazon and their marketing, the, the, the fellowship of fans, which was fake. Every single country had like the same material, just different people saying it. So let's talk about this a little more. Will cost approximately 465 million, that's The Rings of Power, 465 million to produce its eight episode first season, not even 10 episodes. They're spending that much money. Variety has confirmed. Sources say the hefty price tag for primed videos, Lord of the Rings season one, which debuts September 2nd, includes startup costs for launching the series that will presumably be spread out over multiple seasons. Can you imagine a $465 million one off season that they didn't expand upon? Didn't, didn't go past one season? For that, that would be catastrophic if it wasn't Amazon run by Jeff Bezos. So I think that that show is going to probably be hot garbage. Uh, I will be watching it, though, just to see how it turns out because I have Prime Video. So I'm going to check it out and we'll probably review it. But let's move on with this article and keep talking about the cost because I have another article I want to cover at the end of this which details the top 10 most expensive series produced. The industry's spiraling rate of content spending is coming under new scrutiny as episodic TV production budgets soar. On Thursdays, the Wall Street Journal reported that sources close to production say Netflix shelled out $30 million for each episode of Stranger Things 4, which will launch in two batches in May and July. Set two centuries before the events of Game of Thrones, the 10-episode prequel series House of the Dragon will depict how the House of Targaryen fell into bitter and brutal civil war known as the Dance of Dragons, uh, presaging the beginning of the end of Westeros' ruling family. The series was created by author George R. R. Martin and Ryan J. Condal, Colony, based on Martin's novel, Fire and Blood. Condal and director Miguel Sapochnik are executive producers and co-showrunners on the series. Martin and Vince Gerardis 
our executive producing as well uh, alongside Sarah Hess, Jocelyn Diaz, Ron Schmidt, Claire Kilner, Gita V. Patel, and Greg Yatanis. Much like the original series, House of the Dragon boasts a sprawling cast with a smaller core of characters, including Patty Considine as King Viserys I, Emmy Darcy as Prince Rhaenyra, uh, Viserys' first child and his heir apparent, Matt Smith as Prince Damon, Viserys' younger brother, uh, Reese Ifans as Sir Otto Hightower, the Hand of the King, Olivia Cook as Lady Alison Hightower, Otto's daughter, Fabian Frankel as Sir Kristen Cole, a knight with eyes for Rhaenyra. The show will co-star Steve Toussaint, Eve Best, uh, Sonia Mizuno, Ryan Kaur, Jefferson Hall, David Horadovich, uh, Graham McTavish, Matthew Needham, Bill Patterson, and Gavin Spokes. Many of those people, I have no idea who the hell they are. So there you have it. They know how to keep these episode prices low based on previous experience working with the material and the world building uh, facets of this. The cast budget is probably going to be big too, uh, obviously with the special effects because you're going to have the dragons featured more prominently as a, in this. But let's talk about the 10 most expensive television shows ever produced uh, because of the nature of this article and it was talking about how they spent 20 million under 20 million per episode for house of the dragon here we are right here on price runner uh lord of the rings 465 million dollars for season one that is a complete unbelievable that is an unbelievably high number for eight episodes they said they're doing for this uh you've got 465 million for season one uh, MCU, Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Hawkeye, $25 million per episode. And you're telling me you spent $25 million per episode and that's the best you could do? Marvel, you need to do better. You've got to do better! The Pacific, 20 to $21 million per episode. No idea. Game of Thrones, $15 million per episode. Right before King Joffrey gets poisoned, everyone flops their wieners all around his face! The Mandalorian, $15 million per episode. Uh, C... 15 million per episode. The Morning Show, Apple Plus TV, 15 million per episode. ER, 13 million per episode. The Crown, 13 million per episode. And Band of Brothers, 12.5 million per episode. So there you have it. There's the 10 most expensive shows uh, ever produced on television. Like I said, I've seen some of them, some of them I haven't, some of them I've never even heard of. But it is what it is. I just want to see how that stacked up with House of the Dragon. What do you think? Are you going to watch House of the Dragon? Do you have anything left in the tank after Game of Thrones ended? If you're a Game of Thrones fan, uh, does this you know entice you to come back or does it not? Uh, is the fear of this show going woke uh, more prevalent in your mind now? That's what I want to know, folks. Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to check it out. I'll review it for the channel. I have no issue doing that. I have watched much worse, uh, obviously, see my Batwoman collection of videos. So that's it, gang. Until next time, I'm E. Temple Kuyin of The Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow. I'll catch you on the next one. And hail to every single one of my channel members, my Kazooines. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, do you want to send us stuff? Because this is how you send us stuff. We have a P.O. Box now. That's right. P.O. Box 924, Prudenville, Michigan, 48657. If you have anything you'd like to send in to the place to be reviews, that's where it goes, and that's where your packages will be coming from as well when I ship things out to you, my Kazooians. Wiener, 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 wiener,